Hey guys, just jumping on here real quick to go through some behind the scenes footage from a wedding I did in Breckenridge. And last November, I was just finally going through the footage here and this is the first time I've ever done this. I'm going to try to go through a whole wedding. I'm going to just do part one right now because there's too much footage. It was a three hour Airbnb wedding, so it wasn't a full day wedding, but it it's still going to be a lot of footage. So I'm just going to kind of play a couple of the clips of what I got from my camera and we'll just kind of start off. So, so if I'm fumbling with my words and stuff like that, I'm very sorry, but we're just going to roll with it, man. And, and just starting off right here, I'm just going to kind of show you the pan of the room. This is the Airbnb they, they got up in Breckenridge and, you know, to set up the scene, it was November. I remember it was just clear skies and great weather. You know how Colorado is if you've ever been here. And then the week they came from Florida, Bill and Sherry, it just dumped snow in Breckenridge. So so when I drove up there, it was a little shady actually driving the back roads and stuff like that. But I made it. I had a four-wheel drive and all that fun stuff and, and snow tires. But yeah, we got a lot of snow and it, it worked out to our benefit because that's kind of what they wanted because they're from Florida. They don't get a lot of snow, obviously. Um, they've been married before. So this is like one of their, their second wedding both. So they were just, they wanted something really small, chill. And they had their three children, you know, their grown children, I guess, their three kids, their son and their two daughters. So, and as you see right away, oops, sorry. I got... Yeah, I was using a. Oh, geez, I keep moving the whole screen. <laughs> hey, we're 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 just we're just gonna putt right through it. But yeah, there we go. So I got my Manfrotto 12 foot stands, and I just put one on each side, just kind of so I can direct one light on Bill and on that side, and then one light on Sherry, and then on their two other children there. So just because I had. I had two 8200s and I think I put two mag grids on the ends just to direct the light a little bit so it didn't spray all over. And the reason I did this is because as you can see just from this still image, the window light was very bright. So I just, I wanted to be able to, you know, not blow out the window light, but still get a nice color. And, and obviously in post I could have, you know, here, let me just show you an example. Like there's one of the first test shots I took from this position. You can just see, you know, from the exposure of the window, everything's just darked out. And obviously I can bring up the shadows and do all that in post, but I just wanted the option to shoot light. So when we start going, you know, that I won't have to worry about setting up lights or nothing like that. I can use them and I can shut them off and just go natural light as well, which is what I did most of the time. So I'm just gonna hit play here and just let it, let it go. And then we'll just kind of see what happens. <laughs> yes, yes. So I had my 70 to 200 on one camera just to kind of get the more zoom portions. And I was just kind of adjusting my light stands here, I believe. And then I had the 35 millimeter on my other camera. And I'll just kind of scroll through as I'm going. I can just kind of clip through what I'm kind of clipping in. Most of these are raw images. Some of them I edited. I have some that are delivered and then some are just raw that's never been edited. So see, there's there's the difference I'm talking about. That's no light, that's with light. So and there's with light as well. I, I just like that look just to kind of, so I can actually see what's going on outside as well. And you can see all the snow out there, but we can just kind of clip through here. And I think I tried light just for a little bit and they started. So I just kind of ended up going natural light here. And there's light, light. Yep, see, so you can see the big difference there. There's with speed light and there's just with natural window light, which I like that natural window light as well, especially for them too, because they were so close to it. And then, you know, I can kind of bounce around and get behind them as well. But I'll just kind of scroll through. So I'm kind of sneaking behind. There, and that's about caught up now. And yeah, just the typical, you know, what I do, I just try to catch details like that, the hands, you know, I try to get the emotions of everybody else. And I, I love shooting through people just to kind of get that, you know, that foreground blur there. 
you know, getting a few close-ups. I kind of wish I didn't put the light stand. I wish I would have had it over here. It was just, it was so tight that it was, it would have blocked the walkway there. But like just in this picture example right here, you can see the light stand, which, which obviously I can just crop it out or edit it out. But I kind of wish I wouldn't have put it so close now after looking through. And here, <laughs> this wasn't planned either because we, they booked me a, a week prior to when they came out. It was really fast. So we didn't have really time to plan anything. It was just kind of go with the flow. And right here, you know, their, their family was kind of sitting back or whatever. So I had room and now it's like they just walked and stood right in front of them. <laughs> so I was like, oh. So I like hurry up and grab my 35 mil and switch to this lens and then just kind of tried to shoot through them, you know, and catch what I could. And yeah, it worked out pretty well. But I just had to be kind of on my toes on this one because nothing was planned, nothing was rehearsed. And so I just kind of sat back and did my thing here. And I guess we got audio as like well. Like your candles in oh, yeah. the They're flame. Just lighting candles and stuff. And I'm not saying okay. nothing, obviously. I'm just kind of moving around, taking some few photos. Whoops. And again, bear with me. <laughs> Oh, they're lighting the candles. Let's see Beautiful. if I can get caught up. Let's see. Now, all of you, right please right. just place your candles. We have kids over here. And Bill and Sherry over here. Place now I'm just going to pause here. it again. We don't need to listen to their ceremony. Yeah. Yeah, and like I said, you know, this is... I can fast forward through a lot of this. Just kind of jumping through. Trying to catch everything I can catch. I decided to come back in the kitchen area. And that was their videographer. That was their son's friend. He just had this live camera on his cell phone there <laughs> recording it. So he was very good. Just capturing stuff for him. And here I was just, you know, trying to trying to find as many angles as I could with the, such a small space. And trying not to jump too close into them. But, you know, I, I don't know if I mentioned, but bill and sherry they were just so so kind and they were really just like no no you you do what do what you do you know you're not gonna interrupt us you can just jump around and do as much as you can so i i felt very comfortable just as long as i was quiet if i could get close enough they were totally they didn't, it was like they didn't even know i was there half the time you know so it felt i felt really comfortable like a lot of times i wouldn't get that close i wouldn't get too close to people's spaces but in this situation it was kind of like okay i kind of have to in some areas just because they were so cluttered together <laughs> and like so to get like somebody's face i had to go away behind them just to kind of shoot across and stuff like that so but yeah there's an edited photo there from about that angle and then I think, yeah, I did turn on the light here just to try a different look. Since it was just kind of a time there. And then I did come back and I kind of like, like I was attracted to these little candles up there. So I thought, well, with the, my speed lights, I can kind of dim it down and the exposure down enough just to kind of play around and get, you know, just trying to play around with what's going on in the Airbnb. But yeah, this one I it was a, one I delivered right here. I kind of like that photo. I can kind of expand it here. Yeah, just to kind of capture the light and then my speed lights. And then I kind of cropped out so I didn't have no stands in the way or nothing like that as well. So, yeah, worked out pretty well. And moving water bottles. And again, bear with me. We're six minutes in, and I'm just going to kind of fast forward through a lot of this. Kind of the same thing, just jumping around. I actually did go, tried to go in the bedroom over here. Just every angle I could find in this place, you know, I was using a little foreground action and stuff like that. Just trying to get a little creative, you know, I wanted to get a pan of the whole room there. Just kind of 
scrolling through and yeah this is where I got on this side and I think these are from the bedroom yeah just capturing moments I like to move around every angle shoot low shoot high tight wide with flash without flash I I like to go into it and just know that I have a lot of lot of photos I don't mind overshooting you know I, for a while there I was like oh, I'm shooting too many images for every wedding and stuff like that but now with with AI software you know like after shoot stuff like that for cooling systems and stuff like that, it just makes it so much quicker to go through images and stuff like that so I'm not worried about taking I'd rather take more photos than less just because I know you know I, I have so much more to go through and so much more options so as you can see, they started playing some music here. Her son just learned guitar recently and he wanted to play a song. So I'm just gonna fast forward through all this. And it was pretty neat because Bill and Sherry, they just, she just got so emotional when they would play and stuff. She was so excited. <laughs> and it was neat because they got emotional and that's, that's, you know, as a wedding photographer, that's what you like, you know. So, again, you know, I, I didn't feel like I was in the way when I was coming around. I, I didn't try to cut through, I think I cut through once in between them when they were playing. But that's just because I was just trying to hurry up. I didn't want to go all the way around. And I kind of wish, you know, I was trying to be respectful and not get in. But here, I'll pause it for now so we don't have to listen to that. And yeah, you know, see, there's this is about where I'm caught up now. And again, you know, I'm just kind of showing you how I shoot writings. You know, there's nothing special about my style right here. You know, like I said before, I wanted to set up the lights just so I had them available. So all I have to do is just walk over the stand, turn them a little bit, which I think I do in a little bit here, just to direct this light on them, just to capture their faces. But, and... Joseph, he was rocking out. He's a pretty good singer as well. So I was just kind of capturing some images with them in the foreground here. And she was just loving it. <laughs> and then again, yeah, I went back in the, the bedroom trying to get those angles. And then just kind of shooting through and getting him. Yeah, and there's where I kind of directed the speed light again and just kind of, just so it hit the the family there. And they were really just getting emotional and loving every minute of it. So it was neat. And again, just trying to get different angles, different looks. It was, I'm glad I had the 7200 because then I could zoom in because you could really see, you know, his emotion and her emotion. He was really tearing up it was just it was such a special wedding <laughs> between these guys because i mean you could just tell how appreciative they were with everybody that was involved and they were just so they're just the kindest couple and you know it's funny how like i'm when i shoot or when i book weddings and now i'm pretty laid back just chill kind of guy and it seems like all my couples are just like this they're really down to earth they're just they're just really just grateful for everything going on and in the moment and just not worried about all the little things like oh the, the cake the blah 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 you know what i'm wearing does this look okay you know all that stuff they're just really just about the emotion and just wanna wanted me to capture what's going on and so i i just love couples like that and it seems like i that's all i attract <laughs> which i love it 
you know, I, I never have somebody that's usually, you know, every once in a while you have somebody that's just really like stressed out, but it, I don't mind that either because then it gives me the opportunity to, you know, do what we do as in the industry and just, you know, try to let them know it's going to be okay. You know, I always try to just tell couples when I'm working with them, just like, you know, remember like the timeline's never going to go, the, go right. <laughs> We're never, never going to be on time. It's just, you know, it, it could be off five minutes, could be off a half hour. Just don't worry about that. It's your day. Time does not exist in your day. It's just worry about the moments and just enjoy it. Cause it's going to go by real quick. So I try to just stress that to couples and it seems like they really, you know, tend to go towards that. So if that to make sense. All right, 22 minutes in of the video. Again, let me go back to the photos. Yeah, it's just nice. Getting very emotional. And again, I was trying to get back just with my speed lights and trying to capture the, those candles kept attracting me. <laughs> But yeah, it was neat seeing those, their emotions and stuff. Very grateful. Very grateful couple. But I, I think that's about it for this video. Kind of fast forward some more here. Yeah. It was a very long... <laughs> yeah, I think they just kind of finished right here. But... And then, let's see, where are we? I was founded in your unity, in the sight of myself and your family. It is my pleasure to announce oh, you when they by the power of the state of Colorado and of the Universal Life Church, married as one. Trying to catch up on the photos here. <laughs> Missed the ring part. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's the kiss. There it is. Yay! Well, everyone, Bill and Terry And now, to, to, to finish up, we have the big cat. And then I shut the flash off. Love. Just kind of move around. Ooh. Yeah, that's oh, good. Capture nice. this. <laughs> Oh yeah, then we play some more music here. And pretty much the same thing. I can kind of go through my photos here as I'm kind of panning through. Yeah, they sat down and watched another performance. And they were in a, a nicer position there, so I got to kind of use my lighting a little better. And he, there's their son playing guitar again. Yeah. Oh yeah, then I they started dancing as well. <laughs> His sisters, they started rocking out and dancing a little bit. So that was kind of neat. I think they all kind of started, yeah, dancing a little bit. It's pretty neat. And their son can play guitar and they can all just kind of get down and have some fun dancing. <laughs> yeah, she was getting wild. That's the wild one. That's the wild child. <laughs> no, they're all so sweet. And again, you know, just kind of going through the corners there and all the different angles. Yep. Yeah. I don't think I have any footage of this, but I did. Try to get outside when they were playing. And I was trying to shoot through that big bay window there. I was just trying to get some kind of reflection. So I, I blocked the reflection here with myself and then I still had the tree reflection here. And I just tried to get that shot with my speed lights, you know, just kind of make them pop out. That's always something I like to do too if you're outside, you know, and it, we had a lot of time because 
like I said, they're they're you know the ceremony was pretty long, and then they played a bunch of songs, and kind of danced, and had a fun time. So here, yeah, as you can see, I just tried to light the couple up a little bit and just get their reactions as they can see there. So that was kind of a neat photo. It was a fun one. Otherwise, you know, nothing was really special about, you know, I didn't try any crazy photos or nothing like that during this part. I just really wanted to just capture the emotions and capture everything that was going on. And again, a lot of these are, most of these are raw, and some, a lot of the ones that are edited, like this one I delivered, this is just the Lightroom Gallery. And here I think, yeah, I think I actually suggested to them to like do a dance, if I remember right. On the footage here. I was asking him if he could do one more, like, quick slow song, and maybe you guys can just do a dance, like, kind of your first in the middle of the floor. If they come up with something. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be kind of neat as the captain. You got one more song in it? She was asking no. if I was going to make a No, I was going to ask uh, him if you guys can play me one more slow song and they can just do like a dance. Yeah, oh, that would be great. Like, kind of their first yeah. dance. Yeah. So, slow song, what can we do? Yeah, so that was nice, though. So they got to play one more song. And then you can keep your shoes off for now and sit there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I always have this weird laugh. <laughs> there this is going about 20 minutes now I could go a little bit longer just to kind of get some of these dance photos oh and I think they ended up yeah they ended up just playing a song I don't think they actually played a song I think they tried to play to it as the song was going <laughs> but they don't act, they didn't actually play the song but here I'm just kind of trying to get some different shots. I was kind of using the counter there. Just trying to, you know, give a little bit different effects and stuff like that. As you can see right here, you know, I'm just trying to, like that was a delivered photo right here. I'm just kind of moving around the room, doing my thing. I'm just capturing moments. Sat down on the chair, took a break here for a minute. I think yeah oh here I am connecting these guys and I yeah there's where I cut across I didn't try to do it but they were they were not focused on me at all <laughs> yeah I was kind of I wasn't happy with the light the way it was directing it wasn't capturing her face because she was blocking that light a little bit but And then I think right after here, we kind of just jumped into family formals, I believe. Yep, you can see they wanted a couple photos, so I decided just to put them right in front of the window, and then I moved this light over, just so I had I had my two of my speed lights, one directing from this angle, one directing from the other side, right over there. And then I just told them to stand in front of the window, and then. Started capturing some photos. So there's one I delivered right there. I think I ended up, I was moving a lot of this stuff just because I knew I'd probably have to get on the other side of the counter because my 35, I mean, it was wide enough, but it would. I wanted to get back a little bit farther just because I'd rather crop in the image a little bit in post than be that close and just have like, you know, 35, if you get too close around the edges, it'll kind of warp their heads and it's just, a, it's not the best focal length up close for a portrait. I ideally could have just threw on my 50 mil, but I think with the space and everything, I just decided to go 35 and then crop posts. So I think like, see that was uncropped. That's cropped. It didn't, wasn't too much extra work, you know. 
Oh, that was a wide angle, a 35. So. And then I think I started getting their family, getting in a little bit. Um, let's see here. Good tune. <laughs> okay. Yeah, here's some formals. And I can turn the sound on this real quick. I have quick. to actually get back here. <laughs> yes. All Again, right. Thanks for bearing That's with me. Good, good, good. No, we're perfect right now. You guys look good. I'm going to have you, instead of... Instead of doing the arm because the shoulder pads go up a little bit, I'm going to have you guys be in a little bit. Just like, yeah, just kind of like that, like link up. And then everybody else, yeah, shoulder behind shoulder, just like that. Yeah, yeah just so that people's like cause... shoulders aren't up and stuff like that. Yeah, just as I said there. Yeah. A little more. And they got their both arms around, <laughs> like their shoulders pop up. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so this is just a little Hands more, are yeah. easy for, you guys can actually just hold hands lightly in front there and just hang them down. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, okay. And then guys, I usually say a hand in the pocket, full hand. Girls, you can just, you know, I like how you just stand like that. Maybe just pull a little bit so there's a little gap in between your arms. <laughs> little little move there. That Let me check my lord. Funny guy. Yeah, it looks cool. That, mm -hmm. Perfect, guys. Look at me and smile. Yo. <laughs> All right, hold it. All right, you two kiss, and you guys just look at them. Oh yeah. <laughs> Maybe they're excited or strange or whatever you want to make faces. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, stay there. I want you two get in there too. I just want to get the whole group that everybody's here. I always say stupid yeah, yeah, stuff of course. like that. I'll get you all in here. But a lot of the times, the reason I do do that is just <laughs> just to get the reaction, and it it just it really provides like a natural laugh, you know, even if it's the, the cheesiest thing. <laughs> but if you just say something, you know, even if. It, it can make them just laugh and just forget that they're even getting a picture taken. Look at each other and just laugh. It just captures those little bit, little bit of moments. And I think that's really when the photos come alive instead of them just like feeling all nervous and standing there and focused on. But and then I just kept going through and doing a few different combinations of photos here with their siblings and stuff. But see, so yeah, as you see right here, like. When I, I said that cheesy joke, <laughs> it wasn't funny at all. But, you know, it did capture just a couple of giggles, you know. And I did, I, I put my finger off the trigger a little early. I could have kept shooting, which I should have. But I did get a couple of the, just, I think I delivered this one where they were laughing, so. Yeah. My focus kept cutting out too, so I think I did. Yeah, there we go. I think I had to pull them back in because my camera was being a little bit funny. But that is about it. I think I'm just going to shut it off now and wrap it up. Um, thanks again for walking through with this with me. Um, again, this is my first time <laughs> doing this. So if you want to know any other information, I... You know, if there's anything you want to know that I didn't mention, uh, feel free to comment below and I'll I'll get back to you guys. And I try to respond, you know, and and give feedback or or to reply to feedback. So and yeah, but thanks again for watching. Um, I will do part two which will be more, t I think I took the couple outside on this balcony here. And then the final one was pretty funny. I I'd actually took them outside across the way and, and they actually <laughs> were climbing up a hill with the really deep snow and falling. And it was pretty funny, but they were, they were troopers. They did, they were just all about it. So it was a lot of fun. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching guys and yeah, please like and subscribe, and and I'm gonna try to keep putting content. In the, hopefully, I get a little bit better uh, at this, 
and you know, it can kind of walk through a little bit better. I was a little, I'm still trying to work the controls here and stuff like that, but yeah. Thanks for watching and see you next time.